Well, hello and welcome to this video series. I am Jennifer Campbell, your online systemic leadership mentor. And in this short video series, I want to share with you my learning and experience during a course in the city of York in England, which is all about applying the system-centered training approach in the workplace and in everyday life. Well, hello. Here I am sitting in the park again and um, it's the end of day two of my um, SET training here in York about making work roles work. And uh, whew, we had a full day. Um, and I'm actually struggling a bit to see what I want to share today. Um, so I took up my notebook and I'm having a peek at um, what I find most important for today. And um, yeah, we talked quite a bit about um, goal, role, and context. And um, what's interesting about that is in one of the other videos I shared about the different um, the, the triads that we find in the hierarchy in systems. And a common one that we find in work roles is your person system, your role, and then the system as a whole, which is usually the team or the organization or the larger context in which you fulfill your role. And it's so interesting to explore, um, yeah, what your role is. And it's been a professional question for me to see if I want to function in the larger whole or the larger system that has the goal of creating strong living human systems which personally in my person system i'm very passionate about um, and that i'm exploring which roles i can pick up and one of the roles is to create videos and be a a, a messenger or a, a person who creates these videos and shares her learning um, hoping that it will cross a boundary for people who are actually watching to also create uh, stronger living human systems or pick up roles that um, that actually support that or do that. Um, but yeah, one of the main questions is how can you pick up your role so that you can support your role's goal and the bigger context goal? And how can you fuel your personal energy into the role so that you can fulfill it better? And what we also explore today is what are driving or restraining forces in picking up your role? Now, what's that? Uh, driving and restraining forces are the forces that actually help you pick up your role. So driving forces and restraining forces are the opposite. So that stop you or block you from picking up your role. And um, I found it interesting to explore that in all the different settings that we had today, whether it was with two other members in a small triad where we had the exercise of being in the roles of a consultant, a client and an observer and have a conversation about restraining and driving forces or whether it's about the group that um, we work with in this course context where we are doing um, the SET's functional subgrouping and to see how can I pick up a role as a member in the group um, or even in a larger group where everyone who's doing all the courses come together and sit in the large group and then become a member of this large group and contribute from that role. So to make a long story really short, it um, really heightens my sense of in what context am I and what role am I picking up and what is helping me to fulfill that role or go for the goal of this role and what is restraining me and making it um, difficult for me to pick up a role and what can i explore about the both the 
driving and restraining forces that are actually going to help me fulfill my role well and contribute and support the goal of the bigger context. So it's a whole mouthful, but that about goal, role, and context uh, for today. There's more to share and I'll uh, probably record another video about another topic of today. So very full day, but this is about roles and driving and restraining forces. So thanks so much for watching in this part. If you want to be notified to see when another video becomes available, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.